obviously we uh, we needed to perform better to beat Fresno and and uh, uh, didn't. We're kind of disappointed that we didn't play better over there last uh, last Saturday night. Um, you know, had to have we had to have um, just uh, a better performance and didn't get it. So we need to get back on track this week and do what we do and and uh, have a good week of, of practice, great preparation, and, and get ready to play. So that's kind of. It in a nutshell. Is it, uh, I know you have your injury report tomorrow, but can you give any indication where Cornette might be? Uh, you know, I'd rather do it tomorrow if I can, just because I, I'll have better info on that. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just, I, you know, be wild guess right now. If if he can't go, is it com by committee? How does it sort out? Well, we'll have to start somebody. Um, but if he can't go, then then uh, you know. We feel we feel like we've got pretty good depth at running back, so you know it's the next next man up, and and uh, it'll probably be a couple of guys getting carries, I suppose. What, Adonis hasn't played much of a role. Is there? Is he just lost the numbers, or is there more to it than that? No, it's just that. It's what it is. There's there's so many plays to go around, and and uh, the other two guys have been getting a little more. So. Bobby, what's different about this week compared to the rest of the game? Uh, well, you know, we just kind of – the difference is we kind of – not kind of, we consider this the most important game on our schedule, so it's a little different that way, you know. It's, it's a rivalry game, and it's, uh, you know, in, in my opinion, one of the <clears> – <throat> maybe the greatest thing in sports is the college football rivalry. That's, you know, that's my perspective on it. So we we uh, view this week as, as different than our other 11. Have you been around this one now for a few years um, – and obviously different states, different history and everything, but what, what made Montana, Montana State different or special? And then does it, any of it correlate to this one, or are they all different? And what, what, when you think back on that one, what really stood out about why those people really uh, wanted to be each other? Um, you know, it, I think it, they all kind of correlate. I think the in-state rivalries are are, uh, are, are are cool deals to be a part of. And, uh, you know, people have, have great affinity for their school. And I, I think the thing that separates it from other games is it's, you know, it's known to everybody as the robber game. But the other part of it is, um, you know, people, you know, a lot of people from the other side. So uh, you get to talk about it all year long. And, and uh, you know, it's nice to have those bragging rights when you can get them. Do you remember much? I mean, I'm sure you remember a ton. But what each week back in Montana, what was th some things that turned out about why you know, that one was special? Um, you know, that, the only, I mean, I've been <coughs> able to coach in, you know, Washington, Oregon, Washington, Washington State, UCLA, USC, um, Colorado, Nebraska at the time was, was huge. Um, so the, the difference in that one was uh, growing up around it and following it from early memories. So that one was a little different just because it's, it's a personal standpoint, kind of like uh, the UNLV Reno rivalry is for people here in this state that grew up around it. You know, when you grow up around it, you grow, you grew up cheering for one school or the other. Um, it's kind of personal to you, which is, a, which is a neat deal. Bobby, how are they different with pole in versus what all kind of brought? Uh, you know, um, schematically on the defensive side of the ball, they're a little bit different. You know, they've, they've changed a bit in terms of their structure and, and – uh, what their emphasis is, uh, that's probably the biggest difference. For both the players, what makes rivalry week so fun for you guys? Just preparing, getting ready. <laughs> Besides the bragging rights uh, after the game, it's a rivalry game. There's no other game like it. So uh, I feel like that's self-explanatory. You, you can't lose this game. Uh, it's imperative. The most important game of the schedule. That's how we're going to approach it. I mean, just the, the history of the game. I mean, when you think back to all the players who uh, have been here who didn't win and players before them, I mean, you know, it's it's the history of the, of the players and you want to do it for them just as much as everybody else. So it's, uh, it's just fun to be a part of. And, I mean, like Coach said, it's it's the most important one on our schedule. Preparations any different for you guys just in terms of getting ready for that game? Uh, we, we we approach every game uh, the, the same. I mean, we, we go after each other in practice, and we, we, we you know, the intensity level is always high, and, and we, uh, 
you know, it doesn't doesn't change for for Reno. I mean, it might it might be up a little bit because uh, we know what this means to to Las Vegas. We know what this means to the guys in the locker room, and, and like I said, previous players before that. Bobby, do you think the uh, the four game winning streak maybe now has allowed the, your team a mindset to even after some adversity or coming off a loss would be different than maybe years past? They can, <clears throat> they know they can be successful now, so there's proof there that maybe this week it's like okay, you just got to put that away and go on to the next one, whereas before it almost be a snowball. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the the snowball type uh, effect is in play. Um, you know, to the point where last weekend Fresno was ranked seventeenth in the country, and I mean, our guys expected to go in there and win that game. I mean, I just I was with them all week. I was in the locker room uh, before the game and after the game, and and our guys expected to go in there and find a way to compete and win that game, which you know is uh, you know it, it's more about multiple years of guys uh, having that sort of attitude instilling in them and instilled in them and then um, you know to have our, our guys be able to win some games in a row here the past month has been good now we got to get back on track and <clears throat> and I think that our guys are uh, um, certainly in tune with the idea that we need to go play really well if we hope to do that this weekend uh, what do you say this week to the team? I mean, we know you're not a big rah-rah speech guy, but what, is there something you say to them this week about ending, you know? This, this, this week, if I have to even open my mouth, I've got the wrong guys on the, in the locker room, and I don't. i got the right guys, so I, I won't have to say a dang word to our guys this week. They, they all know who we play this weekend. This, this one's for them. This, one, and this, this, one's, this is their week. You got a place for that cannon if it comes back this way? <laughs> you know what? We'll, uh, we'll figure that one out if we can get it done. It will be weird, though, not to see Alt on the other side, Hall of Famer. I mean, obviously, you've had some battles with him over the past few years, but not to see him on that sideline. Uh, you know, I've known I've known Coach for a long time. Uh, his name's on the field. That's that's uh, <laughs> his name's on the field. How's that? I'll leave it at that. <laughs> There's a reason why it's there too. They were pretty good when he was coaching there. As much as fiery as you are about rivalries, did you get? There was always a sense around here, way before you came, and now that he was very intent. Obviously, had been here. Did you get that sense from them as well when you played them last year? Is that he he was even beyond what a normal coach would be with a rival? Ah, uh, you know that's gosh. You know that he he never. I mean, I don't know. Went out of his way not to convey that to me, right. which he was probably more likelihood of that than not. Uh, but. Uh, you know, in terms of intensity, um, you know, we like to think we've got some of that at this point in time too. So, uh, you know, uh, as I as I uh, tell our guys, uh, I hope they they have taken that on a little bit. You can you can uh, you can question our intelligence, but don't ever question our toughness or intensity. Then then we're then we're gonna have a problem. And I hope that's hope that's the case with the guys in our locker room. And I, I think it is again. Bobby, last year you. Uh you have anything special planned this week or for the game? I mean, last year. Yeah, we got lots of trick plays. I'll diagram them for you so we can put them up online for Reno to see. It'll be great. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm just aside kidding. Aside from that, as but I if catch you want up. to, <laughs> feel free. Uh, last year you came out with a cannon on the helmet. Uh, you know, you have anything? Well, we're all we're both gonna we're both gonna wear our home jerseys, uh, which I think is kind of a cool deal. Um, uh, you know, it's it's a game in state and and. Uh, I'm glad they agreed to, to go ahead and do that. Is there going to be a tradition, you think? Hope so. You know, I think it's kind of a, yeah, I hope so. I think, you know, we, we need some tradition around here and, and uh, playing for the cannon and doing some of those things around the game, I think it would be good. You know, the last year's game obviously didn't go the way you wanted it. The, the start, though, is that something you can borrow going into this game? Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I, I kind of hesitate because I think all years are different, you know. Um, I do know when when we uh, first, uh, you know, just from actually these guys with me, uh, when we first partook in this rivalry game, um, the, the, the differential between the two teams was pretty great. And uh, I think last year maybe exhib exhibited that we've closed some ground on them to a degree. And, um, you know, we can, we can be in the game and, you know, obviously our hope is that we can find a way to win it. Brett and Tyler, do you guys look back to last year knowing you started out quick and kind of ended the way you guys
guys didn't want to. Does that add motivation at any point? Thinking about last year. Uh, I think about it only only in the first couple of days of the week. Uh, I try not to look too far into the past. Fact the fact of the matter is, we lost that game. Whether we started off good or we finished bad, like uh, we lost that game, and that's more motivation than us starting the game off good. Like to me, is the fact that we lost. And we didn't go in as a team and accomplish what we planned to accomplish from day one at camp. So I agree with what he said. We didn't get the job done. Bobby, you mentioned after the Fresno State game that they did some they used their bye week really well to, to do some things you hadn't seen. Do you think other uh, or opponent other opponents can borrow from that, or was that more of a matchup thing uh, for that game? No, I think any as seasons were on. I mean, we all. Uh, we all study film, and if, if somebody has su- some success with something, uh, you're going to see it again, offense, defense, kicking. I mean, that's the way it is. And, you know, we – I mean, we all do the same thing as coaches around the country. So, uh, sure, we'll see. We'll get uh, tested with things that gave us problems last weekend and the week before and the week before that. So. You know, I imagine you in practice you address them there too, don't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's <clears> – excuse me, Mark. Essentially, that's what uh, Monday's practice is. Is is reviewing the things and correcting the things that gave us problems. Oh, you kind of talked about their defense. Talk about uh, Reno's offense and kind of what, what what they possess. Yeah, I mean, they do some. They do a lot of good things. Obviously, uh, um, got out to a quick uh, start against Boise last weekend, and at Boise, that's that's really never easy to do. Um, they've uh, um, played, they played really well uh, initially against UCLA and Florida State, who I, I think are really good football teams. Obviously, that uh, doesn't need to be said, but they were they really played well early and then didn't hold up late against them. Uh, you know, the, uh, it's uh, they've got a they've got a good team and they have good looking guys. Kyle Roberts. Uh, I think is their best front guy. He really impresses me. Number sixty-six. I liked him in high school. Uh, we tried to recruit him. Um, we just gotten here, but I, I just think he's a great player. And so they've they've got some guys. Brent, uh, is, there, is there a story that stands out from the last time you were <laughs> up in Reno, as far as maybe the fervor <laughs> of the Wolfpack fans and stuff they were saying to you, or just kind of? Take me into what that environment is like in this game. Uh, it's a it's a great one to play in. I mean, uh, you like Coach Hawk said before, you don't want to go on the road and play at a quiet place. I mean, you want to embrace the opportunity, and we're we're looking forward to it. Tyler, what are those fans like there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember uh, my first time playing in Reno. Uh, I believe I was a sophomore. Uh, I remember getting called some unmentionables. <laughs> That kind of motivated me to go out and make some plays, hopefully to shut them up. But, uh, yeah, you can't say those things on camera, but I'm sure it'll be fun. And the fans will make it even better. What's that like for for you, Bobby, going in there as the opposing head coach? Uh, you know, hopefully it has zero effect, basically. You know, I'm, the reality of it is if the fans are affecting me, we're, we're going to be screwed up. So I don't <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't pay a lot of attention to it, to be honest. Will you take it personally if a nine-year-old doesn't flip you off like he did John Robertson? Uh, you know what? The only time I take offense to that is in my own home when I come in the door. So if he does it, he gets it. I'm not going to smack around any nine-year-old. So. <laughs> but in my own house, in fact, lost a rivalry game one time. It was the first time I remembered my children actually uh, paying attention. They met me. It was a road game. Uh, we didn't lose many, and uh, they met me at the door and said, how could we lose to them? <laughs> so I knew it was a big deal. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get picked <clears throat> off of Maybe when I turn my back. <laughs> <laughs> Expect nothing less. If, 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 uh, if the nine-year-olds aren't giving us the bird, it must not be a rivalry game. How's that? <laughs> Which, if you're... Did you, and obviously your first year, you probably didn't quite get the rivalry like you do now. I mean, can you, how much do you think it's? Well, gosh, I hope I, hope I did. I mean, I've been doing this for a while. You know, I 
I mean, they're fo- good football rivalries are, are awesome. I mean, it's a it's it's a hate hate situation. That's how it's supposed to be, and you don't throw that word around lightly. And football isn't life or death, but sometimes it gets approached that way. And uh, you know, that's one of the beauties of this thing. And uh, uh, we're excited to go up there. I hope it's I hope it's loud. I hope it's hostile. I hope our guys can feed off that and, and just uh, enjoy the heck out of it. That's what it's what it's all about. Do you think it's your best equipped team since you've been here? I think it's our best team, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I just think it is. I mean, the, re- the record would say that as well. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we've, got a, we've got a good, solid football team. We need to go play well. Have either of you guys actually touched the cannon? <laughs> Did you guys go near? I, I, I don't know where it's set up for My each game. Or, that would be, or if why would they? <laughs> or I, if, if that's only an after the game thing, but because this is, you know, your guys' one trophy game, like how, how much, you know, do you even pay attention to to that uh, piece of artillery at no, all? Uh, at a young age, I was taught not to put my hands on things that don't belong to me. So until it belongs to me and belongs to this team, then, <laughs> then we'll worry about that. <laughs> well said. <clears throat> well said. That's a really good answer. <laughs> he loosens me up. <laughs> Very good, guys. Thank you. I'll follow it up mine.